And if you haven't used it for a long time, just push it gently through the tube a couple of times because that will lubricate the tube as well and everything should work a lot better. Okay, so the way I do this is I get a little tiny bit of cotton wool, tease it out to get the maximum surface area so it should ignite as easily as possible. Put it in the end of the tube. Put the bung in. Get it all the way in. Don't push from right at the top. The, the moments can be far too large and you can damage everything. I tend to push it in maybe a quarter or a third of the way in. Um, and then I drop on it. Don't try and push it down out there. You won't be able to get enough weight on it. Don't use your arms straight. Just bend your arms, put it on, under your stomach, and then just let your legs drop away and drop your whole weight onto the piston itself. And you should get a lovely ignition like that. You might find you're not quite heavy enough to do it like that, in which case there is a bit of a trick you can use. Um, first of all, when, when you redo it, you've got to get rid of all of the dirty air inside the tube um, because that's going to have lots of carbon dioxide in it, not enough oxygen, it won't ignite very easily at all. So I tend to just sort of wash the air in and out through it like that. Um, if you're a bit light, um, what I would suggest you do is push the piston in about a third of the way in. This means you've got about a third of the air in there to start with. So you don't pre-compress the air, so the force is all about a third lower. Again, just put the cotton wool in the end and put the bung in afterwards. And you should find it to be just that bit easier and it should work far easier. A fire piston. And that was horribly cheesy and you can continue laughing at me.